everyone. My name is Mima. Today I'm gonna read you a story today about Little Miss Bossy and the magic word. Little Miss Bossy is just too bossy. So Mr. Small and Little Miss Magic decide to teach her a lesson. And then, Little Miss Bossy is bossy, bossier than the bossiest person you know. She is also very rude, nearly as rude as Mister Uppity, which is very rude indeed. She never says please. And she never says thank you. Like the time she met Mister Sneeze. Look at him; he's so funny. I too. Sneezed Mister Sneeze. Stop sneezing! Ordered Miss Bossy. I can't. I too. Help it. I mean, I can't. I chew. Help it," replied Mister Sneeze. "Nonsense," said Miss Bossy. <laughs> like the time she met Little Miss Chatterbox. "Good morning," said Miss Chatterbox. "Lovely day, isn't it?" Just. The right weather for a walk. Talking about the weather, be quiet," ordered Miss Bossy. And like the time she tripped over Mister Small, "You're too small!" exclaimed Miss Bossy. "Grow up!" "I can't," said Mister Small. Then. Out of my way in future," ordered Miss Bossy. "Oh no! Why is she so rude? I don't like her like that. I don't believe in her." Poor Mister Sneeze, poor little Miss Chatterbox, and poor Mister Small. It was Mister Small who decided that something had to. Be done. He went to see Little Miss Magic, and once he had explained the problem, she agreed to teach Miss Bossy a lesson. And I think I know just how to do it," she replied. "What?" The next day, Little Miss Bossy bumped to Mister Greedy. "You're too big." "Oh, wait a sec!" "Did you see that? Little Miss Magic just right here. Why is she just hiding in a tree? I already spy her. I spy her. Look, see." The next day, Little Miss Bossy bumped into Mister Greedy. "You're too big," she cried. "Lose some weight." At the same time, Little Miss Magic, who had followed Miss Bossy, muttered a very magic word. And do you know what happened? Of course you don't. <laughs> What? What is going on with her? I don't believe her that she rude. But you do now.、Mm. Who are you calling big? Laughed Mister Greedy. You're asked to take a look at yourself. Well, Miss Bossy was last for words. As soon as Mister Greedy had gone, the Miss Magic 
muttered some more magic words, and Miss Bossy returned to normal. Uther, down the lane, Miss Bossy passed Mister Cheerful Gate. He was painting stripes on his house to cheer it up. That looks ridiculous," snapped Miss Bossy. "Paint over those stripes." Little Miss Magic whispered the very magic word again. Mister Cheerful started to chuckle. "You ought to look at yourself," he laughed. Miss Bossy did. She was covered in stripes from her hiding place. Little Miss Magic smiled to herself. What? Next, she met Little Miss Splendid. What's a stup? Ah,、uh, I cannot say stupid. What a. What a stupid! Oh, I'm sorry. What a stupid hat! She said, "Go and put on something more sensible." Well, Miss Magic uttered the magic word again, and I'm sure you can't guess what happened next. Speak for yourself," said Miss Splendid. Bursting into laughter, and for the third time that day, Little Miss Bossy was lost for words. Oh my gosh! Look at the hat. What? I spy her again. Just then, Mister Small came along, having a nice day. He asked. Mind your own business," Peep Squeak snapped. Miss Bossy, and who, and who are you to call me Peep Squeak?" said Mister Small and chuckled. "Haven't you learned your lesson yet?" <gasps> Miss Magic came out from behind the tree. Where she had been hiding, you have to say the magic word," replied Miss Magic. "Abracadabra," squeaked Miss Bossy. "No, that's not the magic word I was thinking of. I'm sure you know what the magic word is, but it took Miss Bossy a bit longer to think of it. Please." She said, "Eventually, and did she learn her lesson? Well, she learned one lesson. Little Miss Bossy is still just as bossy as ever, but at least she now says, 'Please go to sleep, please.' Bye bye."